woke up and this is the morning view from my hotel. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's... The and remember how yesterday I was like, Japanese people don't stare. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. Um, they do. They stare. Um, and I don't know if it's like... You know like when somebody stares at you and you don't know if it's like a, oh my god, you're so pretty or ugh, <laughs> type of stare? Um, it's that type of stare, so I don't know. I don't know what type of stare they're giving, but yeah, they do stare. But uh, we're gonna go to the hotel. I haven't had breakfast yet because I woke up late. Well, I didn't wake up late. I woke up at 8, but it's 10 right now. But I'm the type of person who takes like two hours to get ready, so um, yeah, yeah, I didn't eat breakfast. So I'm gonna try and get like at least coffee um, or even a muffin if the Hilton has like muffins or something like that. But it's really beautiful out here. Let me show you guys what I'm looking at. It's a freaking gorgeous day out here. Do I cross? And the fact that like my hotel is like right in front of the sea and like I have the sea view, it's so nice. I'm gonna try and find the next stamp. find something to eat because the kids are hungry. My children are hungry. The anger comes out. <laughs> so we're gonna try and find something to eat inside where the air conditioning is. But something I've noticed about Disney is most of their restaurants are outside. Like even when it's really hot you still have to sit outside. I know that at least. We are now gonna try and do the roller coasters. I literally sat inside for three hours because it's so hot out here that we're just inside for three hours. But we're really gonna try. We're gonna attempt. Go for it. We're gonna attempt and do the roller coaster. Even though I know the line is gonna be like three hours. But let's do it. Last ride. Let's go. We have to go eat, so we have to go one station again, and then we'll go find food. I've been seeing this product everywhere, and I really wanted to try it, so we got the bigger bottle. Look how cute these are. Mango and something liquor. That's really cute. And we've got the other bottle. These are really cute too. Like I'm the type of person who just goes with cuteness. If it's cute, I'm like, oh, I want to buy it. <laughs> this looks good. 
Am I the only one who thinks this looks good? I don't even like alcohol. Why am I here? Ooh, this is strawberry milk liquor. I'm trying to look for Marta. It should be somewhere here, I feel like. This is the one I was looking for. This is really, really good. It's freaking delicious, actually. This place is like giving Walmart, but nicer. But also very disorganized. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about it because there's just so much happening. But there's a lot of really cool stuff around. This is actually the mascara I use because I like that it's not waterproof. Um, but for me to call somebody to, to take this tag out is just too much work. I'd rather just buy it in Korea, to be honest. But this mascara is really good. It's not, it's waterproof, it's not waterproof, and it erases, really, really erases well from your eyes. So that's why I really like it. I think these are also mascaras. But it's just, I guess people steal uh, mascaras and like eye makeup a lot, because there's like a lot of security tags on these. They really be selling everything here. They even have like shampoo. Oh, they have hair oil. If I knew what that said, I would probably buy because my hair is very dry right now. But I don't know what that says, so probably not. They have Coach. They have all the brands in here. But everything is like locked up and I like how it has like, like the little American flag next to it. Hilarious. This is like the vintage looking Coach. You know what I just realized? I'm buying things without even considering my suitcase space, which I should probably be considering before buying these things. But I'm also like team, it's gonna fit. <laughs> I'm team, I know I'm leaving none of this stuff because I already bought it. Uh, that's my team right now. So it's gonna have to come back with me to Korea somehow. And I'm just hoping it fits. Like, I think it's gonna fit though. I wonder why this place is called Donkey Hotel. <laughs> Girly pink. Milk latte. British, grey, pistachio, green. I think I like girly pink the most. Oh wow, these are interesting phone cases. Interesting. It's like a little Pokemon game. <laughs> Pokemon Legends. <laughs> what he said shopping I just came back to the hotel this is all the crap that I have to carry so time to go in I got a lot of stuff but I can't open it because it's technically duty free so I can't open it well I he said I can but I don't know I don't know what it was but either way three four three two Never in my life have I ever had breakfast for $24, $24 but um, hotel breakfast is really expensive so I don't really have a choice because the Disney area has a lot of very like, like a lot of very nice restaurants but they're all really really expensive so I don't really have a choice but to eat here but I'm going to try my best to eat, check out by 12 and then I'm going to meet the others and then we're going to go to the, to the what? To the to the airport <laughs> couldn't think of that word but i really want to share with you guys like the observations of being of japan because since i've been here i've just realized like how different japan is from korea and i know like that's obvious like obviously japan is different from korea but like you know how americans sometimes they can go to europe and europe has some similarities to america but japan does have some similarities but it's also like so different like i've seen certain things that i'm just like that's such an interesting culture thing that they're 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 on about. But I'm gonna share my thoughts a little later um, because like I'm gonna eat now. There's also this other thing that I've realized that I I don't know Japanese. Like I'm not even gonna try and be like I got the like girl I don't know Japanese. Like I used to like be obsessed with manga and anime when I was in high school, but I never took it seriously enough to learn the language. But I've realized Japanese have this way of talking that kind of leads you to what they're saying even though you don't understand what they're saying like I've had like when we went to Disneyland they were talking in Japanese I don't know what they're saying but I kind of got the gist of what they're saying if that makes any sense um, and if you if you look really really confused like if they don't know English and you're really confused they will use hand gestures that can help you understand what they're saying um, because not a lot of people don't really speak English or if they do speak English they don't speak you know 
I don't want to say correct English because there's no such thing as correct English. We're all out here trying. So um, they don't speak the English that most English native speakers would understand in demonstration. Um, but yeah. Anyways, let's eat this food. So I got my little latte. We give you these little cookies. And then syrup in Japan is called gum syrup. And when I saw it at first, I was like, what is that? And then I saw it come with coffee and I was like, oh, well, I guess it's syrup. But I also just realized this was $9. <laughs> the most expensive coffee I've had. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> like, this is nine dollars. This is crazy. <laughs> I am just looking at the prices over there right now. <laughs> Did you see the prices here? It's like ice cream, eight dollars. A uh, piece of cake, five dollars. Espresso, nine dollars. Everything, nine dollars. That's that's actually really crazy. Um, but yeah, let's try this nine dollar cafeteria. The sandwich just got here and it's an av avocado salmon sandwich uh, with baguette bread or a baguette, I could say and then my latte on the side just from the visuals, for it to be $29 is kind of crazy but I'm like the most frugal of frugal so never, nev nothing will ever make sense in price but I do like the plate, the plate is really pretty I don't like that smell of that glass am I the only one that's that? Like, if I drink water and I smell the glass I don't like feeling like I'm drinking somebody else's mouth. It just... <laughs> this looks really good. They have like this whisk. I've been looking for this whisk for the longest time. Like, like this whisk for the longest time because like people who make Mocktail drinks really like frothy, use it. Um, see, now that's the problem. I can't read what that says. Can't read that. So the small ones are three dollars and the large ones are like eight dollars. Oh, that is adorable. Let's see. This is adorable. This is really cute too. I'm like obsessed with cat stickers, so all the cat ones are really cute. Even this one is really cute. Bro, I actually really want to buy this. It's like different, it's like Naruto cards, but blackjack. What's it called? Blackjack? Poker cards? It's actually really cool. It's for 16, 16 bucks. So my luggage was too heavy, so she asked me to take like one thing out. She was like, if you take one thing, I'll just act like it's, it's okay, <laughs> it's okay, wait, and you can just go. So I took out my, like, Disney cookies out, like, these tins that I bought. Finally leaving Japan, it's time to go home now. Got my passport, let's go. I am exhausted and I'm sleepy and I need to not sleep, so let's go.